We are in the all new Audi A5 at the International Launch here in Airfield Trust House in Dundrum in County Dublin. We are spending some time in the cars and we've decided to have a look at the infotainment system and the absolutely amazing tech that's available from Audi these days. We've always gone on about TFT displays etc. So let's have a look at the system now. So we're going to take you very quickly through what's available within this system itself. Okay, so what we see on page one is you click on menu and you get your menu here. Okay, first off you see car, sound, radio, media, telephone, navigation, map, Audi Connect, Audi smartphone interface and settings. So we're going to go through each one individually. What you see here for car and this is across the 8 inch display here in the center of an Audi A5 Sportback. These are your drive modes, so you've got efficiency mode. What that does is effectively reduces torque within the car itself. The performance isn't as wild and as enjoyable as you'd expect, but it's perfectly set up for, I suppose, getting a better fuel economy out of the car itself and all of that. Comfort is, let's say you're sitting on a motorway and you just want to cruise wherever you're going, do it on comfort mode and everything's set up that direction. Auto means that it'll choose it for you itself so the car will decide whether or not you should be in comfort efficiency dynamic etc etc and then dynamic itself is when you actually want to open the car up everything tightens up it gets that a little bit more torqueier and it's so much more fun individual is you can design what mix you want going on uh, in different areas of the car itself okay so we click on that and we'll have a look in All right so you're able to choose in here uh, how you want the engine gearbox reaction steering adaptive cruise control and all the rest as well okay so let's get out of that next up is sound guys this is pretty much self-explanatory if you know what you're doing with the treble the bass and the faders and everything else like that you can mess around with that and you can decide to give a bit more and um, treble a bit more bass and things like that let's move on to the radio okay so we've got an fm am set up in here i have been told by reliable sources that dab is also available but you might pay a little bit more to get that into the car itself Okay, so what it allows for it is you're able to use SD card in here, have a look at photos, listen to music if you'd like as well. Uh, next up, you've got your USB connectivity. You're able to do the exact same thing. This is your AUGS, AUGS in. So if you want, uh, if you have an old iPad or iPod, for example, hook in the AUGS and you'll get to listen to whatever you want to listen to through that. Bluetooth, of course, you can listen to whatever's going on, on your phone through that. Okay, so this is for your Wi-Fi audio. So the car itself has Wi-Fi. Uh, Cubic Telecom, which is an Irish company, by the way, and they supply this for all Audis around the world. Uh, they're based in Sandyford in Dublin. This pretty impressive story. What they're doing is now supplying the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi technology for all of these new Audis that are coming in back in the main menu telephone well while i have you may as well show you how to hook up your telephone so this is my samsung s6 what i'm going to do first is i'm going to turn on my bluetooth so bluetooth is on now what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask the car to find my phone so i'm going to click on connect mobile phone okay and uh, here we go audi mmi oh it's disappeared there for a second audi mmi 7325 click on that and we are now pairing, right? So I'm gonna click okay on that. It was actually McLeod's S6 there. We said yes, and the pin is correct. We are now hooked up to the Bluetooth. Isn't that beautiful? It's now wants to see my phone log, all my details and all the rest. Eddie are gonna keep this and uh, share it around the world. No, they're not. Okay, so this is, my phone is now hooked up to it. So that's simple enough. Let's get rid of the phone. That's the whole idea behind these systems. Navigation. This is one of the things I love about the new Audi systems and we're going to talk about the 12.3 inch display that's just above the steering wheel here in a second as well. But in here you get the best looking maps that you can find in any car. Of course they're utilizing Google Maps which is absolutely brilliant. I'm actually just going to go straight to maps. This is navigation so if you want to get set in destination you can do and you go wherever you need to using the maps that I'm about to show you here Amazing Google Maps doesn't that look fantastic. Now of course we are in the Kimmelcote area South County Dublin at the moment we're at the launch of these cars themselves but i love this about audi's new technology i think it's absolutely fantastic of course folks we have spoken about in the audi a3 and as well as that we have spoken about in a video before in the audi q2 and both these links will be seen up in the corner of the screen now in a minute but look at that isn't that fantastic now this one here is even better because we're on the center display here in the car itself on this eight inch uh, screen we can also have a look at Google Street View. Now, unfortunately, you don't get that inside the uh, TFT display above the driver display area, but you do get it here. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so this is Google Street View within the Audi A5 Sportback. Doesn't look great. That's a lovely house. If it was for sale, I might consider buying it if I had enough money for it. 
but I won't be able to afford it after buying this Audi <laughs> the A5. I'm only joking, Audi, don't worry about it. All right, so that's another lovely touch within the system itself, and it's great. Okay, so let's go back and see what else is in the system. Okay, so Audi smartphone interface. Folks, we all know what Android Auto is, hopefully by now, same with Mirror Link, and if you have an iPhone, which we're using now, we're swapping from the S6 over to an iPhone because it happens to be handy, and we have a cable for it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw that into the USB point here underneath the armrest and then we're going to throw it into the phone we're going to show you what apple carplay looks like inside of an audi so we are now going to click on activate apple carplay yes i agree to be safe and doing all the rest and now we're going to see what it looks like on the screen here so this is apple carplay within the audi a5 sport background okay um so we have all the apps going on here that's your phone app if you want to make a phone call if you want to listen to music that's on your iphone you can listen to it through there maps and of course that'll be fine for traffic updates if you decide to go down that route but come on guys listen to dublin city fm and you get your traffic reports live during rush hour that's what you want to do if you want to read your messages go in there this is again once again playing from your system on the phone itself this is the audi mmi app and we have podcasts audiobooks and then if we go on to the next page we have spotify in there which is kind of cool and groovy now we're going to go back to audi connect this is uh, right so the maps is my favorite thing this one's here this is absolutely my favorite i love the look of the maps uh, now let's go into audi connect so we're going to accept the terms and condition and do it when it's safe to do so okay in here you get some fantastic information now for some people it's not necessarily needed but for me i find it to be really good so the first one you're going to see here is your news you get to select the type of news that you want through the system itself and um, so we're looking here at the dw launches new multimedia project so obviously we got tech news going on here so by pushing the wheel to the right here instead of actually reading the news which you can do once it's safe to do so you can click on here and it'll read out the news for you okay so let's have a listen new multimedia project Apro Germany report from 12 minutes ago okay so that's the system itself very clever it reads the news out to you while you're driving and that's great it's also very up to date 12 minutes ago this is from three hours ago and so it goes that's really good right but it's not just the news you get if you go back here again there's all different news uh, points that you can look at through there as well political news and everything else like that okay weather so if you're afraid to have a look outside you'll see what the weather is here let's click into it and this will give you a breakdown as to what to expect over the next few hours, what it's like here at the moment, what degrees it is. I mean, this is very clever. It gives you a full update as to what time it's going to be 11 degrees at and everything else like that as well. All very intuitive, all very intelligent. So that's your weather in Dublin. This is your overall weather for wherever you want to be. Fuel prices, once again, it's going to pick up what the price are in the nearest fuel stations to us and start with the closest, make its way out to the rest. So Topaz 120 for diesel. Of course, it knows we're driving a diesel. So there are the prices. Fantastic. Right, next up is parking information. So where's the nearest place for us to park around here? Of course, it is paid parking. Online news, once again, it's back to the news stuff. City events, what's going on in the city that you're in? There you go, Good Dog will be playing level one. Um, Drone and Tech Expo 2017 is on the Shelburne Road. Uh, Kerry Clark, for whatever that is. Okay, so plenty of events going on around city. Flight information, you're gonna miss that flight in your Audi A5? No, you're not, because you're gonna be able to follow it here through this system itself. So what time is that plane coming in at? What time is that plane leaving and on it goes? Let's go back here again and train information never there as well let's go back down there okay if you have an audi app on your phone and an audi account you can preload destinations into the phone itself and pick it up through the system itself and you get to have a look there google earth self-explanatory special destinations we leave all that software updates that's for the guys in audi to make sure your car is completely up to date uh, destinations via my audi that's your audi app once again Twitter, if you're a Twitter hand and you have to be on Twitter all the time and you have to stay in touch, this is exactly the place to do it. And text messages, emails, uh, Wi-Fi audio player, car finder, that once again is to do with the app on your phone and Audi Connect user management. So that's all of that there. So that is the pretty much the entire system. Now we are gonna look at the app now in a second. I just want you guys to see exactly what's going on the dashboard. So we're gonna show, or sorry, the driver display area here on 12.3 inch screen. We're gonna show all that as well. Now we're gonna have a look at the Audi smartphone app. You can find out how many liters are left in the tank in terms of fuel. You can see if your lights are on or off. You can remote unlock your car as well or remote lock your car as well. When's your next oil change? All of this type of data here comes up. Theft alarm notification, where is your car parked? Let's say you're in the airport and you've gone away for a week. You can't remember exactly what row you're in. 
this car will help you find your or this app will help you find your car the tft screen looks absolutely amazing i've gone about a uh, hundred times before just want to point out here if you do have adaptive cruise control within the car itself this driver assist uh, sign comes up here and shows you how close you are to the car in front it's also where you can see how far you've set your car to be back from the car in front of you etc 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 so this display it's huge you can choose which view you want you can have big um, instrument uh, odometers etc coming up here in front of you or small ones like that i preferably i prefer the small ones because when you do get to the likes of maps which is over here doesn't that look amazing and once again you can go in and out through that itself this of course is what you're playing on the radio or what uh, entertainment you're listening to this is your phone what's in your directory and that is it folks now of course you can see more driving information on this by going through the system here so air conditioning is it on what's it taking up in terms of fuel economy etc uh, this is your long-term memory so this car that we're sitting in has an average fuel economy over 33 or sorry at an average speed of 33 kilometers an hour of seven liters per hundred kilometers um, and that's it there well short-term memory whoever was driving this last scored 40.2 liters per hundred kilometers somebody was ripping this car over one kilometer let's be fair coming across the audi range very soon is going to be this audi service and emergency button here now if you press this underneath the little red button there and that's for you to get in touch with the Audi call center who in turn will get you in touch with emergency service if you need it at any time now if the car itself crash Audi the the people in the service center will get a message from the car itself it'll let them know how many people are in the car at the time of the incident or the crash by the number of seatbelts that are engaged within the car itself then they will ring the car to see if you're all right, if it's been a little bump or a bruise or something like that. But if you don't answer, what they'll do is they'll get in touch with emergency services and what will happen then is they'll send somebody out and they'll know exactly where you are based on GPS coordinates that the car is sending to the Audi call center. So that's the tech system, the MMI system or the virtual cockpit inside the Audi A5 Sportback. Uh, this is available with the Q2, it's available with the A3 and as well as that it's available with the Q5 and various other Audi cars. It's going gonna, it's gonna to end up open all of them soon enough anyway this is the car buyers guide youtube channel if you have not subscribed before the button's just over there please press it and of course follow the various links that you've seen popping up around the screen throughout this video we'll see you again very soon